All right, guys, it's your boy D'Anthony. You're uh, watching another review of mine. So we don't all get to see every movie together. So this is one that I want to do on my own. Um, I definitely want to see. We see so many movies, we can't all just see them at, together. So uh, I went to go see South Side with You, the Obama movie. Uh, if you don't know it was an Obama movie that came out, there there is one. It's about their first date. It's about uh, Michelle Obama and um, uh, Barack Obama's first date. How they met, you know, and how they actually, you know, got together. So I wanted to go see because I I think there's a lack of African American love stories. I think there's a lot of drama, a lot of violence, but we don't really see any more love stories and. So I definitely wanted to support that, you know, because I believe in love. It was produced, uh, well, the executive producer, I don't know how much he put, how much effort or hands-on he had, um, but it was produced by John Legend. So John Legend produces it. Uh, he's an executive producer. I don't know if he paid, you know, money or the most money to get it done or if he was actually hands-on making calls, making sure things get uh, put together well. I don't know, but... Either way, this is something, this is a project he was interested in and he wanted to bring forth and he wanted to make happen. So I appreciate that. Shout out John Legend. Appreciate you. Because uh, we need more love stories, you know. And I, I really felt like, you know, what I got was a, 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 a true love story. Now, Barack is smooth. Now, Barack Obama, he's played by Parker Sawyers. Never seen him before. That's nothing I liked about the movie. It was actors that you don't really see. We keep seeing the same actors, the same African American actors all the time for 20 years. I'm done with that. Let me get some new faces that can actually act, though. You have to, have, you have to be able to act. And I think that he did a very good job at playing Obama. And I don't know if this is like word for word, you know, true story, but I'm like Obama's smooth, boy. He know what to, he know what to say at all times. Cause she, cause so Michelle. Uh, which is played by T Tika Sumter. Tika Sumter. I hope I'm saying it right. It's, like I said, these are actors that I, I've never really seen before. I think I've seen her in like some uh, independent films, something like that, but not in any, anything that's major. Um, so uh, Tika plays her, plays Michelle, and she has, you know, kind of. She's not really feeling Obama like that. I mean, she is because she calls him cute, but she's not really feeling him as far as you know, really wanting to pursue him seriously. You know, because they work together. So she was his advisor at a law firm. He was just there, um, uh, intern. He was doing an internship there. You know, so she didn't feel like it's appropriate as a. A uh, black woman that's trying to come up in the corporate world to be just dating any any black guy that comes through. You know, she would rather keep her uh, personal life separate. You know, and I can I can I can respect that because anything can happen. Anything can happen to where you know now it's drama. And you don't need all that. You know, you're just trying to make your money. You're trying to come up, and make a difference in the world. So I get it. So she was kind of like snapping at him, like, "Yeah, this is not a date." You know, what are you talking about? You know, this is going to be just professional. If it's not going to be professional, then we can just take just take me home. And he was just, his, like, comebacks was just, like, smooth, man. And I, so I really did appreciate that, you know. And then, like, they went to an art gallery. And she asked him, do you, uh, no, he asked her, do you watch Good Times? And she was like, no, I don't watch Good Times. <laughs> he was like, What? Black girl growing up in the 60s don't watch no don't watch good times. She's like, yeah, wasn't really a pastime in my family. And that is a thing in the in like in the black community. Either you watched good times or you did not. Because it was kind of like, you know, I, there were some negative, you know, tones in good times. You know, they were always broke and poor and lights going off. There's always like some drama. But honestly, that was a lot of black people. You know, so a lot of black people could like relate to that but there are some I'm gonna just say bourgeois bougie uppity black folks that could not which is not a bad thing there's nothing wrong with that you know so because honestly as an adult I can't relate to it but as a kid I could so I kind of had both worlds so I, I see there's nothing wrong with if you liked it or not so I thought that was kind of cool that they kind of had that you know uh, I guess duality or uh, I guess contrast in the same community you know, either you did or you didn't. So he actually had a lot of knowledge about it. He was talking about how old his son, how, you know, he was kind of goofy and down on my, you know. And, but he actually had a, a gift for art. 
you know, and he would always, you know, end up painting. Like, as the series went on, he would start painting. And um, she was like, oh, I didn't know that. And, and he was talking about how... Um, the, so they went to this museum of art, and he was just describing good times, and then it ended up, ended up ending it with how the artists that they're, that they're viewing right now did all the paintings for good times. And the fact that he had that knowledge kind of impressed her. She was like, oh, shoot, how you know that? Okay, you know some stuff, all right. And honestly, if you can teach something to a woman, you can probably get her to like you. You know, if you're not teaching nothing, she, what, what's the point? You know, so I, I definitely, I, I got that. I, I appreciated that. So then they're in the car, and he ends up kind of like judging her for doing something that she just not, is not passionate about. And she gets upset and, so, you know, says, like, how are you going to judge me? You don't even like your dad or whatever, blah, blah, blah. you always talking about how, you know, your dad is, is awful and things like that. You're going to judge me. You know, so um, how he turned it around was he went to an actual uh, event where he was talking to a group of people. And um, he was saying that, you know, you have to learn how to forgive. And he was like, that's something that I just learned right now, how to, how to uh, forgive and not judge. And he was like, and I learned that from my good friend, Michelle. And so he, he actually apologized and acknowledged her at the same time. I was like, dang, Obama, that's, do your thing, bro. I see you playing the game. No matter how hard she tried to deny him. His answers just was like on point. Cause, so that's what, another thing I liked about it. That I couldn't predict it. I couldn't predict how he was going to respond to her. Because honestly, I was like, well, fine then. Let's go. You know, like, if you don't want to be here, we ain't got to be here. You know, so I, I, I saw a lot of growth in me from watching the movie. You know, because sometimes you might, you know, meet that girl that's cute and you're interested in, but she snap at you or she say something that you don't like off the bat. And that's mostly because she just used to, you know, guys maybe just come at her rude or, you know, not really wanting much, you know, but one thing. So you kind of got to like break past those barriers and those walls. And I feel like that's what the movie was trying to portray, you know, that just because someone is using a certain thing doesn't mean you have to respond in a negative way. You know, you can kill that with kindness, you know, so I definitely like that. Um, it didn't, it was, it was, it was a good pace. It didn't seem like it was like uh, too long or I wasn't bored or um, I wasn't like, oh my gosh, we're still here. You know, like, oh, how is this going to happen all in one day? I, w I didn't feel like that. Because some movies you'll watch and it's supposed to be one day and you're like, there's no way they did all this in a day. It was a, a realistic timeline that I, I just really enjoyed. You know, and I would definitely say go see it. Um, let's see, what else did I like about it? Um, I mean, it, it was his speech was very inspirational. You know, they were talking about how... You know, the city had denied them a um, community center and they were all, you know, just down on, you know, any other plans they were going to have because it got denied. And he was able, he was able to inspire them, which I guess is what he did with the whole country. So I guess it's not like I should be surprised, but that's, that's what they put in the movie. And I, I felt inspired. I felt inspired as far as like possibilities of love, possibilities of future you know, and just like, just positive energy. I think that the movie was just a lot of positive energy. It wasn't any negativity. You know, they didn't, they, they ended the movie with him doing, giving her a nice gesture. I won't tell you what, it, what the nice gesture was, but it was a nice gesture and a kiss. And I was like, I like that. You know, sometimes it's just nice to see love. It's nice to see things that, you know, you don't always see around you. So sometimes you, you just got to kind of immerse yourself in the movie. And I felt like it was given a good message. So I definitely appreciate, um... John Legend for doing that for us because I feel like we just need it. So I would definitely say go see it. If I had to rate it, I would probably... That's a good question. If I had to rate it, I want to give it like an 8. Um, maybe a 9. But I'm, I'm going to go with the 8. I'm going to watch it again to see if it's a 9 or not. Um, I can't really say anything that I just didn't like about it. I mean, it's a lower budget movie. So... It's hard for me to give it a 10, but if I was going to say as far as like a love story in that genre, I would probably give it a 10. Um, the acting was great. Um, Michelle, the, the uh, Kita, she is fine to me. I liked her, boy. I, I liked her shape. I liked her face. I liked her, her style. I'm like, man, I need to meet her. But anyway, I digress. I like the movie. Go see it. Southside with me. It's out for about another... I don't know, week, 
Um, it's a limited edition, a limited uh, release, so it's not going to be everywhere, so you need to look it up. If you want to go see it, you're going to have to research and see where it is. It might be a little further away from where you are, but I think it's worth going to go see it. And we definitely want to support you know, our, our, uh, our black movies, because if you're mad that you don't see yourself, it's because you don't support it. So you have to support it. When they're trying to do something, someone has a good idea, and they try to push it out, you have to go support it. So please go see it. Support your people. Support the movie. It's very positive. All right, I'm DeAnthony. Break Room Bliss, baby. I'm out. Peace.